Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. It is 7.08 and I am up and out of the house. I can't even believe it. It feels like the, the days of Black Friday. We're heading to the bins. I'm here with the birthday girl. Yay! We're going thrifting. And we're early. We're early. Yes. Who would have thought there were a lot of carriages? We never get carriages. It's never like this. We gotta get going. So, a lovely flask. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Where do you drink from? Oh, right there. I just, I don't like seeing things like this sit. I just feel like if it can go somewhere and have a home. It's very cool. Yeah. Look that up. Is it going to have a home at your house? I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm always tempted by spirit jerseys, but then when I looked at the comps on these, they just... They weren't good for generic Disney spirit journey, jerseys do great. I love selling these blankets, but this one has so many stains on it. I'm so sad. This is quick money. I don't know if I'm up for the challenge. This side is clear. It's basically that one side. Do we know what size it is? Oh, is this a hole too? Oh yeah. Oh, no. and another one. Okay, yeah, that's too bad. And this one's 2021. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they so cute? He's got a sled. And he's got skis. So adorable. Yeah, I, I saw mine said 2021. It looked like brand yes. new. And they were in different bins. They were meant to be together. They were. God, that is perfect for St. Anthony's. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh, feast mode. That is so, you know what's that funny is it's scary. probably like for Christmas, yeah. but it's totally for the feast. It's totally for we the feast. We go to the feast to St. Anthony's. It's the best. Let's miss in there. Let's get a bowl right here. It's too bad. Oh, those are so cute. Someone was right? going to have a little fall party. Yes. I love it. Are they balloons? Oh, yeah, they look at it. Yes. Oh gosh, we could have a whole themed party. Look at the turkey. Oh. I feel like we have to get these. Yes. I Those are like pumpkins. These are pumpkins. We could sell them as a lot. There we go. Hey, look what Kim Isn't found. Awesome? Think of all the picnic oh. stuff Rocka will put oh, in there. all the picnic stuff. Just non-alcoholic right? beverages. Yeah. Sodas, you know water. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I Isn't love it. Awesome? All right, I hit a bin that had a bunch of uh, leggings. So I saw this and recognized this like little shimmer. It's like a rose gold champagne shimmer and I've sold these before, they're Athleta. So I grabbed these and then there were a bunch folded in a pile. So I just grabbed the entire pile. So one, two, three. These, these are cute. All Athleta, this is an Athleta top. Oh, this is a Zella top that Kim found. What's that? New with tag. Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer? New with tag. That's cute. really cute. Yeah. Are you keeping it? No, it's for you. I'm really, really trying to find some summery things. This is just a running shirt from Nike, but it's super this is lightweight. Talbots, but you don't. That's a tough move. Okay. I did find a Talbot's blazer I'm going to grab. It's gingham. This was, I know we're not supposed to It looks to like do Prana. Sweaters. It's Eddie Bauer. Huh. But it's. I don't know. I don't know. I would look like a sausage in that. I would too. I also found this stack of loft size 10 shorts. So I think there's three or four pairs. Look at me finding summer things. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. Right? This is a uh, new tag Old Navy. I think that's really cute. That looks cozy. That's with Davina. That's nice. It's just like a nice, oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. I still have to get organized. I'm stressed. I just gave this to Crystal. <laughs> Bad Santa. These are my New England girls. We met, oh my gosh, November of 2018, I think, with yep. Leslie. I know, right? It's been so long. No, wait, New York City. We did have one night in New York for the. I know. Oh yes, for Vendu as well. The Vendu event was great. This is going to have to be a Vendu sponsored video. Right. <laughs> And I'm so excited for Rocco's little bundle. Oh, wrong way. So cute. And I got a sweatshirt too. That matches yes. that. All right, Kim is my bog's queen. You know your bog sold for full price. 
cute. Look who's here. This is my friend Lisette, my girl. <laughs> we have all of our friends yeah, here. Yeah, oh, we saw Kim. Kim. Yes, oh, Crystal, yeah. Joan. Finally got to meet Kim. Kim. Yeah, that's like Nicole and Holly. It was like a mouse that's okay. Soiree here today. It's crazy. All right, we're going to have to move. Hi, Johnny. Oh, go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. What are we getting here? Show us oh, the good video. Yes, is that all right? Yep. Yes. Okay. I just want to know if I you should pose. Get the sign release. Ah. No, if I if I should pose or not. Oh, a gorilla guy. Oh my gosh! And she just did uh, twenty two dollars worth of flesh, right? Yes. She's a flesh girl. Piggy, this is oh. for my girl Cynthia. Lady is it Hustle. Wilbur? But you, I don't know. Oh, Cynthia is so sweet. Oh, the fish is cute. But I'm gonna pass oh my, oh look at it. Look Puppy. at the little wings on Mickey. Yeah, he's cute. I got a couple of Mickey. Angel Wiggy. What else did we get? I got a puppy and I got a camel for you. Did you get the camel? Oh, wow. And I already sold one. Of I sold him already. So. Oh, he's really cute. Oh, he's a do over. I love seeing what everybody picks oh, up. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the rare occasion that I find something Kim is super excited about. I'm so excited. Yes! That's the Giswaldis are going to love For the this. family oh, of hunters, goodness. right? They are going to like. It's, it's made in the USA. Orvis. Orvis. Oh, they love, we yes, have Orvis. That's a good one. Orvis we got a card heart from Marky Mark. Mark. Has a car heart sweatshirt. Yeah, I love that. And yep. How to catch him chart. I love that. My father yes. would have loved this. Yeah, the arm says car heart, so that's. What are we doing about this vintage waffle iron? Because the comps are good. We're going to see if they give us a good price yes. on that. Yes, good yep. price on that. Yeah. We're going to take out the sweatshirt that Kim wore. Thank here. you. <laughs> We got a puzzle. We got the birdie. Yes, we got the birdie. We got, we got the feast mode. And we have a flower for um, one of so the... So cute. Oh, that's such a happy flower. Isn't that a happy flower? It's a happy flower. So... That'd be so cute at the farm. Yes. I love it. Yes. Hi everybody, welcome back. I am home from the bins. It's been a couple of days and I am just getting through processing all of this stuff. I got 48 pounds at the bins. We had a really spectacular day. I'm gonna start with some of the accessories I have here and a couple things that I had on hangers and I have a bunch of stuff folded upstairs. Um, Lumpy says hi. We're trying to get Lucky used to his pen and he doesn't quite love it yet. I'm gonna get started with our great little Umane picnic basket here that Kim found for Rocco. Um, I did grab some shoes on this day, so I'm gonna start with the shoes. I really liked these. I think I picked these much more up on style than brand. This is just the brand Mia, but they were in really good condition and I thought they were adorable sandals for the summer. I like the little chunky heel. I feel like that's really on trend right now. One of the things that I'm really looking at when I'm picking up pre-owned shoes are the toe marks. I'm just, <laughs> unless it's a really incredible shoe, I'm gonna pass. So I also got these um, dance goes and they pass the, the no toe mark test because I've largely been leaving clogs behind lately. Anyways, these are Mia's and I think they are so cute. They are a size eight, adorable for summer. So happy about those, they are in great condition. And I did get these dance goes. They're this really cool mosaic. And see how clean they are. They made me very happy. You know, I twisted them a little bit. Sometimes dance goes can get like dry rot in the shoe, in the heel. And these were in really excellent condition. Look at the sole on these. These were 38, so an eight as well. I was looking for the other one. Here it is. Here we go. Some dance goes. Comps range on these, but I think I'm pretty safe to say that I'll get between $30 and $40 for them in this condition. I noticed that mosaic pattern, there were a lot more in the black than the lighter color online, so that might work to our advantage. Oh, these were just some random little silicone molds that I decided to pick up for fall. I don't know if I'll keep these or I'll sell them. Look at how cute. There's a little turkey. I mean, just this has a $14.99 price tag on it. There are these pumpkins. These say $12.99 on them. A little pumpkin mold. And then the um, acorns and leaves. I think these are so cool. And these are $13 too. So just right here, 
is over $40 retail. Um, so I might lot them up and sell them. I'll offer them to my mom first. I don't think she cooks with these silicone things very often, but I think they're very cute. And because they were new, I decided to grab them. This is a little Peaky Blinders hat that I decided to grab. I thought this was so cute on the side. It's, it's a suede. It's in really great condition. And what is the brand? Country Gentleman is the brand on this. Just a really cool hat. What is this Newsboy, Page Boy? I think this is a unisex style. And I did see some sold comps in like the $20 range. So I'll probably list this around 25 and see how it goes. I do love this a lot. Here is Rocco's little main bag in its full glory here. It's got this great drawstring up top, a little Velcro attachment up here. You main, it's got the feet on the bottom. It's in such great condition. A zipper in the front, it's like brand new. If you're a parent of a college student and you go to the on-campus bookstore, you know how expensive stuff is in that bookstore. I also got a you main quarter zip that I may have shown in the uh, thrift with me portion. We had so much fun. I probably should have addressed that right off the bat. It was crazy how many wonderful people I met at the bins that day. Some new faces, some familiar faces. Holly and Nicole were there from Many Hands Thrift Store in Berlin. And then my whole crew of New England girls, Lisette and Joni and Casey and more. It was so much fun. I feel like I could have done an entire video just at the bins and done this haul separately because we had so much fun. So mwah, blowing kisses to all of my friends. It was so great to see you. Um, and they were excited to meet Kim for the first time too. A lot of my friends there. Okay, these are some bogs. It wouldn't be a trip to the bins if we didn't come home with some bogs. My rain boots have been selling great. My bogs that I recently got at the bins and um, some hunter boots from the bins, both sold for full asking price um, in the past couple of weeks. So I'm very excited to get these listed. We did see a pair of kids bogs as well, um, but there was some damage to the toe. I think these are fantastic. Nobody ever grabs the bit, the bogs at the bins. I don't know why, maybe it's because they're heavy because they are such great sellers for me. These are expensive boots. So there we go, especially in this fun pattern, the short boot style. This is a US 8, that's our popular size today, which is great because eight is a popular size. All right, Lumby's out of his crate. I need to go see what that boy is up to. Hi, how are you young man? Do you wanna stand right here? Thanks to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. Vendu is a cross-listing service that allows you to cross-post your items on multiple platforms. Until now, they had 10 platforms, but I am so excited to report, okay, young man. They have recently added Vestair Collection, and I am so excited about this because I have stopped largely sending anything to the real real, and I've been behind on my stuff, so I just haven't made it a priority. And you're able to list things right from home, just like all of the other platforms. This is such an exciting addition to Vendu, but don't forget, Vendu is not just a cross-listing service. You can also get all sorts of analytics. One of my favorite things about Vendu is when I go on to my analytics and I look at the graph and I can see at a glance, because I'm a visual learner. I can see at a glance how many of my items are selling on Poshmark versus eBay. So it's really cool to just get a visual instead of toggling back and forth between platforms. When I first started on Vendu, I was bringing all of my listings from Poshmark through Vendu, but I was still drafting everything on Poshmark and that's okay. You don't have to change the way that you list things. If you like to draft your things on eBay, you can do that. I personally do everything on Vendu now, but for a very long time I drafted on Poshmark and that's cool because if you're just getting started with Vendu, you don't have to worry. You can import all of your things from different platforms. What I'm doing now is I'm kind of going back to the old school way that I did it as I'm pulling in some of my real old inventory that has been with me since before I started Started with Vendu. I'm delisting old things, relisting them. Once they're relisted on Poshmark, I'm importing it to Vendu and then I'm pushing it out to other platforms like eBay. There are all different price points on Vendu. If you are at a 
hobbyist level or you are a professional level processing and selling hundreds of items per month, there is a plan for you. So you can really tailor Vendu to whatever your business needs are and that is fantastic. If you'd like to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description and save 25% off your first month of service. Whichever platform you like to sell on, Vendu has got your back. It is truly a reseller's best friend. I got this cute little fairy costume. I almost left this behind and then I happened to look at comps in between rotations because I just thought this was so pretty. It's like a little woodland fairy tutu. It is part of a set and the set isn't complete, but this is by Fairy Dust. I just remember this phase of motherhood where Angelina was dressing up all the time and I loved these little fairy costumes. I'm very partial to the earth tones here and then all the layers of tulle. I'm probably going to list this for like $30. The complete set, some of them are listed for $50. Um, I'll probably sell that around $20, but I thought it was really cute, super lightweight. I do have a bin for kids. I pretty much only pick up stuff for kids at the bins unless it's really special, maybe outerwear or shoes. Kids is a very small portion of my business, but I did think that was nice. I grabbed this coach bag that I initially wasn't too excited about, but then when I saw the condition of it and the comps on it, I was pretty encouraged. Some comps between like 40 and $80 uh, and I never know what to expect with coach because there's just such a range of what people are paying for and what's trending. But if you look at this, it's in really excellent condition. Maybe a little bit of wear on this corner here, but the interior is beautiful. The really nice thing about coach in a way you can authenticate a coach or one of the ways is there is a style number on the inside. So that's what I plugged in at the bins and up popped a bunch of these. It's like a pebbled leather. Look at the interior though, it's flawless. I was really happy when I found this. A lot of times the stuff is really beat up, but wow, how great. Um, it's kind of like a Y2K look to me. So we'll see how this one does. I don't have the style name in front of me, but I will show you some comps on the screen. I am wearing one of my very favorite things from the bins. Kim found this sweater and was going to keep it for herself. It is a linen garnet hill sweater and I love the dolman sleeves on it. It's just like loose. It's got the v-neck and Kim's a little bit taller than me and she didn't care for the length of it so she tossed it my way and I'm not joking. This is going to be like my go-to sweater for the summer because it's got shorter sleeves. It's lightweight and I was just waiting for this video to wear it. All right, we also have some flats, some ballet flats, metallic ballet flats. And these are J. Crew. Two trends for this spring are metallic and ballet flats. So this checked two of those boxes. These are the J. Crew shoes that are made in Italy. They are just beautiful. I absolutely love them. One of the very first things I picked up was this authentic NFL jersey um, for Edelman. My mom and I just watched 80 for Brady and we had so much fun and there was such a funny scene at the end. I think it was Lily Tomlin in the locker room with Edelman and she like grabbed him by the beard and she just like <laughs> caressed his face. It was the funniest thing ever. And this jersey is still worth some money. So hopefully between like 35 and $55 for this. Great. So Tina just got here and Mr. Lumpy wanted to come say hi. Mommy's got to finish this haul. We got so many things at the bins, Lumps. We got so much. So say goodbye. Say hello, say goodbye. Okay, be right back. Tina arrived and Lumpy said hello. I need to get a little caffeine break and we're gonna keep going. Whew, where was I? I brought more stuff in because I had so much folded upstairs. This is a huge haul. Let's just keep going and at the end, we'll count everything up. This I thought was very pretty and it was new with tag. Um, this is a Carolyn Taylor, never heard of it, but it's chenille, it's a size medium. It's this really pretty smoky blue and it's in gorgeous, gorgeous new condition. Another trend that is big for this spring, summer 2023 is sheer items. So this is this really cool Victoria's Secret, just a totally sheer, like t-shirt style. It's a medium large, be great over a tank top, over like a bikini top, um, or any kind of a bathing suit. I thought it was really nice. It has the little Victoria's Secret um, embroidered right there. If you can see that, super lightweight. I mean, this probably cost 40 cents. Um, so I thought that was really pretty on trend, so I grabbed it. 
Um, I had to buy the cat little purse. How adorable is this? This was in brand new condition. It's a little purse. And then when I looked inside, I saw that it was Jimboree. I thought this was adorable. So may, I think I'm gonna list it for like 20 bucks and then take offers on it. Isn't, isn't she so cute? She's in perfect condition. And since we're talking about cats, I also got this sweatshirt. Look at the kitties. I feel like that is super cute. So this would either be really cute for a whatnot sale or uh, another cat lover. I just thought this was really cute and it's in beautiful condition. Um, with the little kitty cats hanging. I take chances with these types of things when I'm at the bins. You don't really know how they're gonna do. I think that anything that's novelty, you'll see I've got a couple pop culture things in this haul um, and my friend Lisette, who is Posh is My Purpose on Instagram, definitely follow Lisette. She is such an incredible person in our community. And I first met Lisette at a meetup for my friend Leslie, who used to be called a reseller's passion. I think she changed to a reworker's passion, but she used to have a podcast before I had a podcast and invited us all to be on her show. So I met all these wonderful women from New England. That group of women was who I saw that day at the bin. So it was so nice. This is H&M. Kim grabbed this and I'm keeping this if it looks good on me. I don't branch out that much, but anyways, yeah, I really liked this. This I'm debating on keeping too because I like I like layering stuff. This might be a little too long for me, but I hit this one bin with so much Athleta. And I know Athleta is not like the end all be all, but I'll tell you, I found some really nice pieces in this bin. I believe I got seven Athleta pieces. I think I got five pairs of leggings, five, so maybe eight, five pairs of leggings, this tank top and two sweatshirts, all like in this little tiny corner, they were all folded in the corner of a bin. I always say it only takes one bin to make it worth your while. So this is a size large from Athleta. This looks like the older tag, but it's a really nice, soft, I don't even know if you can see that, very nice, soft, stretchy side slit. If I were to sell that, it would probably sell for about $18. So these are the leggings that I got. I have two of these maroon leggings. They are a size small. There's a style number on all of the Athleta pieces. I think that the newer stuff has the style written right on the back. These were the pants I was super excited about. I just think they're beautiful. It's the softest champagne, pink blush, legging gorgeous. These are a size small, just awesome. So I'm hoping for between 35 and 40 for these. Um, these are a maroon pair or this like burgundy color. And these have some interesting detail on the side. They're sheer on the side. There's another pair in the same color. I thought they were the same pair, but they are a different style. So there's some sheerness there. And then there's these little peekaboo holes on the side that you would um, see on the side of your calf. Then there were these that were more of just like your basic legging, very soft. They feel more like the Lululemon Align, but they also feel like there might be a little bit more compression in these. I love these because they have the pockets on the outside. These are size medium. I don't know how these will do, but I think they're really nice for summer. This really fun pattern, very high-waisted, which is so nice, and they're all in excellent condition. So that's one, two, that's four pairs of leggings. This is the fifth pair. These are an ombre an ombre style. How cute are those? Again, high-waisted, all very nice styles. These are also a medium. I had to take a closer look. These have a nice level of compression and they're a nice high waist. So five pairs of leggings and then the top and then two sweaters. These were L.L. Bean and I decided to grab them just because they were in such great condition and they were in that same pile. These are a medium regular and they're very nice. So lots of leggings, so many leggings. I wanna see if I can find the sweatshirt. This is the softest, softest sweatshirt from Athleta. These, I just washed all these. This has like a really interesting, um, Hem kind of scoops a little bit. I'm pretty sure I have this in blush. I have a couple versions of this sweatshirt. The set, the size tag is popped off of that. It looks to be like a medium or a small, but really, really nice. And I do love that color. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's actually a large. And then this was the last Athleta. This shows some wash wear. I think it's the nature of this style. It is a high low. This is an Athleta medium. 
and yeah just like a nice sweatshirt i love sweatshirts and these lightweight ones are great for spring and summer i think like when it's just a little cool at night speaking of sweatshirts i have a few more in front of me the next two kim found this is Miss Independent, it says. It's a Ray Dunn sweatshirt. I do think there are still some Ray Dunn fans out there. The reason I picked this up is because we're going into summer and Miss Independent, it's red, white, and blue. There are a ton of these listed, pretty saturated, and the comps are all over the place. But if I can get between 20 and $25 for this from the bins, um, I would be happy with that. So um, I decided to grab it. I hemmed and hawed a little bit, but it was in really great condition. And I think it was like a medium or a large. It's a large, that's probably what was my deciding thing. I just think bigger sweatshirts do better. This is the Humane sweatshirt that I found for Rocco. Um, how cute is this? I was so happy that it was a large. Rocco likes like Henley style things. So that with his little picnic basket, I mean, oh my gosh, just these two things alone would probably be about $80 in the, in the bookstore at Humane. And they're both like brand new. I was so happy about those. Oh, I was pumped about this too. We found this right towards the end. The last rotation took forever to come out and I was dragging. I think on my Fitbit, it said that I had slept like four hours and 20 minutes the night before. Sometimes when I go to the bins, it's like Christmas Eve. I know I have to wake up early. We were getting an early start on this day. I knew I was going to the rummage sale that I went to that I just posted a video on the day after the bins. So I had to like mentally really gear up and by this point in the day at the bins I was toast Kim and I were going for lunch we were trying to get home before like the Friday traffic I had to really reach down deep to stay for the last rotation and we got this in the last rotation and we always find that when we do stay we always find a couple good things not that this is like anything epic but I do like selling the mountain and I think these sweatshirts do really well this is actually from a zoo or something Camp Taylor campground home of the Lakota wolf preserve I just think there are people who love these. So I'll probably get around $30, $35 for this sweatshirt. Um, and it is a nice size and this really pretty teal with the wolves. It is a size medium, probably a men's medium, but pretty cool. I was happy with that. I forgot to mention these when I was talking about shoes. I got so many things in this haul. I can't even believe the quantity. Kim found these Ugg boots and they're pretty decent. Uggs are always like a... A maybe pickup for me. However, I think what's happened with Uggs and me is that I've really lowered my expectations. When I first got into reselling, if you found a pair of Uggs, it was like gold, it was like $100, 75 to 150, you just got so excited for Ugg boots. Now it's like, uh, certain styles do okay, Ugg boots get really beat up. But when I looked at this style, I thought it was pretty unique. It's like a lace up boot style and the condition wasn't bad. There was a little bit of a water mark on the side. Like if I look at these and think, oh, I'm gonna get $100, I'll get really disappointed. If I look at these and think, those will sell for between like maybe 30 and 40, then I'm feeling good about it. And I think I can get 30 or 40 for these. So given my cost of goods on this day, because I got so much stuff, I definitely think that was worth the pickup. Okay, this was just a Madewell little cropped top. Uh, this won't be a big earner. I'm just a sucker for Madewell. I know I should probably leave a lot of it behind, but this was a size medium. At the very least, I'll give this to Angie. What I do when I have these giant bins hauls is I'll prioritize about 50% of them that I know are gonna be fast sellers that people inquire about here on YouTube. I will take the other half, distribute them to where they're gonna go, like I'm keeping a few pieces, I have a couple things for Rocco, a couple things for Angelina, and then the remainder of the stuff kind of trickles into my inventory, um, but with teeny hair, we get it done much faster than we used to. Uh, this is just an old navy t-shirt. It is Pink Floyd. I loved the pink colors on this, and it's the 1973 tour. And all my 1973 babies out there, this is our year, the big 5-0 for me and my 1973 friends. So I just thought this was really cute. I love when there's a tour lineup on the back. I just feel like it, it makes it kind of cool. So oh, these are, this is literally just March of 1973. But I thought that was really cute, even though it's Old Navy, maybe 15 bucks for that, $20 tops. 
This is a Star Wars shirt. Again, I usually pass on these things, but I really liked the graphic on this. Pretty bright, really fun. Graphic tees do really well on Whatnot, although I haven't done it a Whatnot sale in a while. Um, and people keep asking, when am I gonna do a Whatnot sale? I need to just put it on my calendar. How about we say, I will do a Whatnot sale before the end of May. I promise, I promise, I will get it on my calendar. Before the end of May, I will do a Whatnot show. You might see some of these things. So while I'm doing a lot of the graphic tees, I just could not leave this behind. I love the Peanuts. We're a big Peanuts family, and I just love this. I loved the gray with the pop of color. I'm definitely a Lucy. We did a virtual scavenger hunt for Easter this year because none of my kids were home. It was our first Easter without my dad, and it was my first Easter that none of my kids were home, so it was very different. But we did a virtual um, scavenger hunt. We made everybody do a cartwheel, or they had to shimmy, or do 10 push-ups. And one of the things was they had to say their favorite line from Peanuts because we always watched the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. We had all these things that they had to do, and then we like Venmoed them money at the end. Jay always says that I'm spoiled, then we joke and my favorite line from Lucy is, I never get what I really want, real estate. So that was my line that I shared with the kids. I loved this sweatshirt, so cute. And then I almost didn't get this and then Lisette was like, just get it, everybody loves that sort of stuff. This is a Nickelodeon sweatshirt with the Rugrats. I don't know, just cute. I was kind of feeling all that stuff that day. So I was grabbing those left and right. This is a Vineyard Vine sweatshirt for kids. I feel like Kids Vineyard Vine still does decent. This would be like, you know, 18 to $25. This is in really great condition. This is Knox Rose. Um, I'm gonna try this on. It's an extra large Knox Rose. If I do sell it, I just like it for the summer. Um, pretty cute sleeves and embroidery. Kind of reminds me of something for festival season with like cut off shorts and cowboy boots. It would be really cute. Knox Rose is a Target brand, so it won't go for a lot, but I liked the size and I liked the style, so I grabbed it. These were on a hanger with um, a dry cleaner tag still on it. They are Greg Norman shorts for men. One of the things that's underrated for me is men's shorts. I actually really like to carry men's shorts and I feel like I sell them year round. So I grabbed these, I believe these are a size 38, Greg Norman, yeah, 38. And they're that um, you know, moisture wick and they have this nice pattern on them and they have a nice little stretchy waistband. These are from Urban Outfitters. These are more of like a fall pant, but I thought they were super cute. That kind of academia look plaid, a tiny bit stretchy. I really liked the slit, and I think the slit goes in the, the front. Isn't that cute? The little split seam in the front on these pants. I thought they were adorable. Um, Urban Outfitters is just, you know, like a consistent teen brand, I think, under $30 usually, but depends. Some of their pieces go for a lot. And as a mom who like pays retail for Urban Outfitters every now and again, their stuff is expensive. Oh my gosh, I got so mad at myself. So if you guys watch my thrift cast, spoiler alert, this is going to be my flop of the week. Probably shouldn't say that already, but I had two items that were brand new with tag. One was $50 and then this was $40 and I put them in the wash. I was so hyper-focused on getting all of this stuff processed and washed when I got home that I washed two new with tags items that now have no tags because they came off in the wash. This was one of them, this Lane Bryant shirt. I'm so mad at myself. Anyways, this is this beautiful, like um, kind of faux wrappy shoulder summer. I don't know quite what's going on here, but it was really cool and it was new with tags, Lane Bryant plus size, loved it. It is no longer new with tags. The other thing was an Eddie Bauer sweatshirt. Oh, just so annoyed. Anyways. These are Hollister jeans, super cute with the raw hem. These are a three long and they're the curvy high rise mom jeans. So I was excited about these. They weren't skinny jeans. They're a little bit more of that rigid feel. That's more in fashion right now. They were in excellent condition from what I saw. Nice zip front, high rise, super cute. These were some things I did not wash. This is an Old Navy, new with tag like Swiss dot, cute little cottage core looking style. It's got this, the smocking in the back, that stretchy part, and just this fun little sleeve. I thought this was so cute, loved that style. If you haven't noticed, I have actually been 
picking up more um, lower end items that I think will move fast because my closet has just been struggling. I think a lot of people are really feeling the squeeze right now. I don't think Poshmark is, is very strong. eBay's been really quiet for me. I had a pretty decent week last week because I ran a huge sale, but my day-to-day -day sales have been a struggle. So I'm kind of of the opinion these days, like, I don't know, 15 to $25 fast flip, like just get them in, get them out. If they're easy to photograph and people are willing to buy them, I am not obsessing over huge profit margins or high um, selling price. Like I, I'm just trying to be efficient, move through my inventory quickly, buy things that people will want, get them in, get them out. I don't know. I have just been really struggling. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. If your sales are strong, weak, if you're selling lower priced items, I'm curious what everybody else is feeling. I'm, I didn't do a deep dive into my analytics. That's just a feeling I have right now. Anyway, I really liked this. Um, this is a Talbot's blazer. This is probably like a 16 or 18 because it's loose on me um, but it's really cute and the funny thing about this is that the Talbot's label was upside down and I almost didn't get it but it's in too good of condition and I really like this but yeah so if you look this way it's the Talbot's is upside down and there's no um, no size tag but I thought this was really cute and there are stock photos for this gingham cotton um, it's probably a cotton blend blazer and I thought it was really nice for spring So probably list that at about $38 and see how it does. I also got this little blazer I think this was cabbie if I'm not mistaken Yeah, this is old tag cabbie, but it's a size medium and it's a nice little nautical style These I think are both nice for um, Summer season there are quite a few of these available, but they're also selling and I just think it's a classic style So it's got the gold buttons right here and I think there's gold buttons here too. So yeah, just very classic, very New England. Kim brought this over to me. This is an L.L. Bean sweater for kids. Isn't this cute? A little Fair Isle sweater. This might stick around for a while, but it's just so adorable. This is the type of thing that sells pretty decent during the holiday season for kids. I went back and forth on this. I just happened to like the style of it. This is a Vans shirt. I don't sell vans a ton but it has this little strawberry if i ever get back into selling on depop i feel like this would be a fun depop listing we were debating on whether or not we thought that it was meant to be short sleeved or if somebody cut it and i think the general consensus is we think that it was designed this way because it's got like the little roll on the sleeve here i just thought it was a really cute shirt it's in great condition very very white white collar and then kind of like a creamy stripe I thought it was cute. The strawberry is what sold me. Probably wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have the strawberry, but I thought that was really cute. Okay, this is a um, sports bra, and I think it's Torrid. Oh, it's right up here. Okay, it is a Torrid, and it looks like a size one. It's like a tagless uh, label there, so it just says, wake up, kick ass, repeat. I thought that was kind of fun for people who are like really hitting the gym, like a little hardcore workout people. A size one is one of their smaller sizes. Oh, more kid stuff. Oh, this was Janie and Jack. I never find Janie and Jack, and I thought that this little horse was so cute. It's just a little one piece. This is size 12 to 18 months, just adorable. Probably like a $15 flip. This is a Vineyard Vines t-shirt for kids. I think Kim found this a little out of season, but cute. It's got like the little snow goggles. It says Vineyard Vines down the arm. We find a lot of Vineyard Vines around here with Martha's Vineyard being so close. I really like these little Nike tops. Um, I don't know that I would put these as a bundle, but I could if they're the same size. Although this I think is a small, although that doesn't look very small, but this little, workout top and then this one as well i pass on a lot of these styles um, but i thought these were both really really cute i got those early i found one right away and then i found the other one later on these are just super soft dsg these are for angelina she loves like sleeping in shorts so i got her these shorts and then these are so soft they're victoria's secret um, just little stripes. These are more sleep pants, sleep shorts, but she loves those. So those are going to Angie. Poor Anthony didn't get anything on this trip. More kid stuff. Um, petite Betou. Betou, French. I don't speak French very well, but aren't these so cute? 
This is a French brand. I remember Anthony, his three month um, photo was this brand. It was this little nautical navy blue knit. Made me feel a little nostalgic, so I grabbed it. This is an L.L. Bean sweater. I wasn't sure about this, but I feel like it's very summery. Although when I just recently looked at my inventory, I was looking for an L.L. Bean sweater and I was scanning what I had and the three sweaters that are still in my inventory from L.L. Bean are all striped. So I was like, huh, I wonder why. This is really cute, cute though. If you look at the texture of this, it's that beautiful cotton. This with these shorts, these are like Nantucket, the Nantucket red shorts with something like this. I mean, you see that a lot when you're walking around Cape Cod. Speaking of these shorts, these are the loft and they are a size 10. Um, the reason I grabbed these was because there were a bunch of them, all the same size and style. These are, I believe they're all size 10s or size 30s. Oh, these are a 29. These are a 29. So I have white ones and I have the Nantucket red or more like a kind of a corally pinkish color. Sorry, my lighting's kind of funky. There are more too. I think I got three or four pairs of the loft shorts and I think I might bundle them together. Let me know if you would bundle them or sell them separately. Another Iviva sweater. I still can't leave uh, Lululemon stuff behind. And this is the girl version of Lululemon, Iviva. They're not in business anymore. They dissolved that branch of Lululemon. I just pick it up, especially at the bins. Okay, this was my one vintage, almost like a chambray denim floral maxi skirts. Denim floral maxi skirts are really in this season. Uh, maybe this is more like a midi. And it's vintage, it's the brand Crazy Horse. You know, it's not like a Levi's denim maxi skirt or something, but I liked that it was a larger size. I thought the flower pattern was really pretty. It is a size 16, 100% cotton vintage. Would you have grabbed this? Again, this might do well on Depop, but I still think it's cute. I think I'm gonna price it to sell. I try not to take home too many things that I'm not sure about, but I figured I would try that out. Okay, this was also in the loft pile. There were a couple of nice little piles. Um, this is a new with tag, size large, $40, uh, like this really pretty mint cotton sweater, sleeveless, so pretty has like nice ribbing on it. This I thought was gorgeous. Just very classic. I found some really nice things for summer, I thought. I always pick up these outdoor REI shirts or EMS or any of those Patagonia that have this, um, this mesh type of a style to it. These always do well. They're like little hiking shirts and these retail for a lot. Some of them have like an SPF number attached to them. I'll have to look into this a little bit. Um, but it's got this great mesh, the great hiking shirt from REI. I had an REI coat in my last haul and it was one of the most requested things in the comments. If, if there's anything you like from this, I always say this, let me know in the comments, we'll prioritize getting it listed for you. I have one more pile upstairs, so I'm gonna run up there and we'll be right back and then we'll add everything up. It's crazy how much I got. Final pile and then we are gonna do some addition. This is a Zella cocoon style um, open cardigan that Kim found. And it's really cute. It's very lightweight on the top and then it's like a very soft material here. Has this little stripe down the back there. Were a lot of these listed, but a lot of decent comps. I'm always a little unsure about Zella. Is this the, okay, this is the other jacket that was new with tag. Here it is, the tag. I was so annoyed with myself. It was Eddie Bauer. It is Eddie Bauer, size large. I was really pumped about this one. This had a $49 price tag on it, brand new, and I put it through the wash. I gotta slow down, I gotta slow down. Anyways, it's really cute, it's an open cardigan. If you're interested, it's actually brand new, so. Oh, this was another dress I was wondering if Angie would like. I'm not sure if she would, but if not, I think it's a really cute style. It is American Eagle, it has this nice little, uh, cross in the front. You probably need to wear a, ta a little tank with it. Oh, well, it has a little hook and eye here. It is from 2021. So it's a more recent style, but look at these gorgeous sleeves. I think this is so cute. I love this dress. It's got like little lace trim. I love it so much. It looks like a small, it's a medium. A lot of these teenager sizes look small to me. Isn't that so cute? So if Ange doesn't want it, I will list it. 
These are the other loft shorts. They were all together. These cute little navy blue ones. These have some texture to them and they have these fun little gold button accents on the belt loop, so cute. These are the four inch shorts. They are size eight and these are a size 10. So I don't know, maybe I'll end up just listing them all separately because the other two are size eights. These are a 10 and these are just a totally different style but not bad for summer. Quick, easy to photograph. And there are a lot of loft loyal people and those, those would be so easy to store. This is also Eddie Bauer. This did not have a new with tag on it, but I loved this. This reminds me of the Patagonia Better sweater. Um, just really pretty like wine and pink. It is a size large. This is like new condition. It's just absolutely flawless from what I can see. We don't know if it's really flawless until we get it under the light and we have Inspector Tina on it. All right, and then these uh, American Eagle shorts, they're um, distressed and they have, you know, the, the shredded look to them. But I thought it was really cool because there's a patch in back of the, the spot that's open and it's like two-tone denim. I thought that was really cute. So I think these were high rise. That was important to me. They're the super stretch. Um, they are called the super high rise shorts and they are in a size eight. All right, so I've added everything up. If I counted correctly, I had 70 items. I spent $96, not 94, because I'm pretty sure at checkout it was 48 pounds. So it was 96. It comes out to approximately $1.37 per item. That's my average cost of goods. I haven't had a cost of goods that low in a very long time. So, so excited for that trip. It was a great day at the bins. It was so nice to see so many familiar faces. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Turn on notifications if you'd like to be notified. Hit that bell. You'll get an email when I release videos, which is about two times every week. And thank you to Vandu for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in my description to save 25% off your first month of service. Love you guys. I'll be back with a new video soon. Bye.